Okay, today I'm going to be testing if helium balloons can float in a vacuum chamber. So I have a helium balloon in here. This is going to be way too big though because it's going to expand and fill the whole chamber probably. I bought mylar balloons because they don't expand, but unfortunately these tiny ones don't float. <laughs> but luckily water balloons work just fine filled with helium. Okay, so what I'm trying to show here, if we make the air around the helium less dense than the helium inside of it, then the helium balloon should sink. And so when I turn on my vacuum chamber, the balloons will expand. And what I'm gonna try to do and hope for is that they'll expand, but the balloon will keep it pressurized enough so that the outside air will be less dense than the helium inside of it. And at that point, the helium balloon should fall. Okay, helium balloons in a vacuum chamber. Three, two, one. Trying to turn it off right before they pop. Oh, that one fell. <laughs> See? Stop floating. And... Oh, they both fell. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. That's awesome. <laughs> so they expanded here because I reduced the pressure but the balloon was able to hold the pressure inside of the balloon. Oh, <laughs> not now. Okay, let's let in the air and see if this one floats back up. Okay, so let's see if this is really not floating or what. So it looks like there's a lot of static on it from when it moved around on the glass. That might be why it's not floating. But if I get it out of the chamber, it floats up, see? <laughs> so that's why it didn't float as soon as I let the air back in. It looks like it was stuck to the bottom of the chamber. I thought it had lost some helium and that's why it fell, but it looks like it's still buoyant enough to float. What's cool about this concept is what it means is that a vacuum of the same volume of helium is less dense and so it should float. It's actually the lightest thing you could have. And so I've actually seen proposals to make airships out of a vacuum. So if you can build an airship that has rigid enough walls that it won't collapse on itself due to the atmospheric pressure, it would actually float very well, better than helium or hydrogen or anything. But you can guess the reason that hasn't been done yet is because when you try to make a big airship that has a vacuum inside, it always ends up being crushed by the atmosphere. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching everybody. I hope you like this video. <laughs> <laughs> If you did, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs>